So how can you create a friendship with a woman that you're dating while still avoiding the friend zone? This is a situation that a lot of guys get confused by because you'll hear women say things like, well, I wanna date my best friend. And so you'll think you need to go the friendship route first in order to really get to know her. And then at the point that she feels like she knows you, then she'll be fine with her relationship. And I got this question under one of my videos. I did a video called Six Months of Dating and Still Not the Boyfriend. And this guy uh, had a statement in a question. And he said, my pastor discussed that a meaningful friendship is critical before considering dating or marrying a woman. How can introverts properly create and maintain a friendship while avoiding the friend zone that you mentioned? And especially if you're in, if you're in church or if you're an introvert, these are questions that come up because you know, especially with, as introverts, we wanna really get to know a woman before we just jump into a relationship. And so for us, the logical route is friendship. But here's the thing, guy, is that when you are meeting a woman, and your intention is to date her. The ultimate goal is to have this be a romantic situation and not just a friendship. And I think this is where guys' logic trips them up because guys think the more I know a person, the more that I want them, but as they know me more, they'll also want me. And so if I say to the woman, hey, let's start this off as a friendship, that'll give us time to get to know each other. And then once we feel more comfortable, then we can come together. But when you first meet a woman, a woman has not put you in any category. If she finds you moderately attractive, you guys have a decent rapport together, women always live in this land of maybe. Maybe I will wanna date him, maybe I won't, but I don't know yet. It all depends on what the guy's next move is. And if your next move is to say to that woman, hey, I'm gonna take this on the friendship route, that is now the box she's gonna put you in, and that is the lens in which she's going to see you through. And once a woman starts seeing you through the friendship lens, it can be very, very hard to get out of that box. Not that I'm saying I've never seen it happen. I've seen it before where I have a couple of friends of mine that they were friends in high school for a couple of years before they started dating. At some point she realized that she actually really liked him, but that's a rarity. More often than not, if you are telling a woman you wanna be a friend or she's put you in that category, it's hard to jump out. So here's the thing, right, is that you wanna be building up a friendly rapport with a woman while at the same time establishing a romantic connection. Now, a lot of introverts have problems with that because they'll think, but I don't know if I want her like that when I first meet her, why would I start off as a romantic connection? And again, this goes back to in the first three months of dating, women are doing their due diligence, they're trying to find out about you and they're trying to see if you would match with them on a, like a chemistry level. So they haven't actually made a decision about you yet. And I think a lot of guys, after one or two dates, we're already deciding if they're gonna be the one for us, but you also need to give yourself that time. So that first three months is basically like limbo time. You're trying to figure out if you guys are friendly enough with each other and you guys are showing enough romantic interest, could this actually be a thing? But if you're just giving off friendship vibes this whole time, all she's gonna feel is this guy's a really good friend. And you have to establish that romantic connection for her to get the idea that a, you really want her in a romantic capacity, and B, that she can actually see you potentially in that light. Um, the other thing I said is like women say they want to date someone who's their best friend, but again, this is the problem that guys have of taking things literally. This is why it's important to really understand what women say, what women mean when they say things. And that's why if you go to the introvertdatingsuccess.com uh, and join the Membership Academy, you'll get to learn lessons like this, where you'll learn why when women say certain things, it actually means another thing and what they actually mean when they say things like, oh, I want a guy that's my best friend. What she actually means is she wants to date a guy that gives her the same feeling she gets when she's around her closest friend. And the other thing too is that with a woman's friendships, and just like with your friendships, it can take a while to go from meeting somebody to being a best friend. So you could realistically date a woman, both of you guys agree to a relationship and still take a few months or maybe like a year or so before either of you feel like this person is truly your best, best friend. Because you don't really, even if you get into a relationship, the reality is you don't have as much time in with them as you have with your actual best friend. Like I have friends going back 20, 30, almost 40 years now. If I meet a woman tomorrow, after three months we get into a relationship, that's still not enough time for me to necessarily feel that she's my absolute best friend. But with romantic relationships, you agree to it on the, on the idea that there's gonna be a trajectory towards 
ultimately wanting to be with each other long term and really having established a relationship that feels like a best friendship. It's basically like you're putting a down payment on a potential friendship later. Like, hey, we're gonna be uh, consider ourselves boyfriend and girlfriend right now with the idea that later down the road, this is gonna pay off and we're gonna be the best of friends, all right? So for you guys that are wondering about like, well, I gotta make sure she's my best friend first and cause no, don't, don't do that. If you like a woman, you have romantic feelings for her, you're feeling all kind of hotness for her. So go with that feeling and hope and pray that it's gonna become something later. Which again, if you go to the to join the academy, you'll learn exactly what to do to make those feelings escalate faster in a natural way to where she's gonna feel like you're her best friend a lot faster. Now, in reference to this guy's pastor, He's saying the whole thing about, oh, you need to have a friendship first for dating and marriage. I don't fully believe that. I believe that you need to, you know, date somebody with the idea of being romantic, get into a relationship with them. And then from there, while you're doing that, you're also building. And I'm gonna talk about the five ways to do that in a second. But I could understand if you were to say, hey, don't hook up right away. Wait until you guys, you know, have really had time to get to know each other, to vet each other, to see if you guys have full on chemistry before you're in a relationship and then bring up the whole physical aspect. That to me would make more sense, especially from a pastor saying that, because realistically, hookups too early on can cloud your judgment and it can cause you to bypass and look past a lot of red flags that the woman may be showing you, okay? And so if you wanna better your chances of getting somebody that's gonna actually really be good for you and that you have a better feeling about, it may be good to consider delaying the physical intimacy until like two or three months into the relationship. I'm not saying you have to do that. I've definitely not been one to typically wait that long, but I've also seen the repercussions of, you know, you go on a first or second date, you hook up and then like three months later, you find out stuff about the person or you realize that there's a, a, a certain, you know, uh, situation that you guys aren't going to agree on or certain ideas you guys have that don't gel together but because you're hooked up and it feels so good you're now making excuses to, to well i'm gonna i'm gonna change that person's mind or it's gonna work out anyway and blah 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 and then you find out later like that's it, it falls apart because all these differences actually did matter but the hookup was clouding it up so that that is a consideration to think about okay now with that said on to the second part of this guy's question which is how can you create and properly maintain a friendship while avoiding the fringe zone. I think the real question here though is how can you create and maintain a friendship while at the same time building a romantic connection? And so there's six ways that I put down here to do that, okay? So real quick, first way, ask him on dates. If you're asking a person on a date, the word date alone is more than enough to establish that you're not trying to just get into this to, to, to be friends. You're taking them on a date because dates imply potential romantic connection. If she's not feeling that, then she can say, I don't want to do that. Or she'll give you the, oh, I'd rather just be friends. And at which point you can say, I don't want to do that, which I'll get into in a minute. Uh, second thing is while you're with this person, be friendly and flirty. I think introverts particularly are great at being friendly, but not so great at being flirty. We think that just being friendly sometimes is going to be enough to make a woman say like, oh, wow, he's being friendly to me. He's so nice. I want to date him. But you can't because women also need to feel that you have some kind of like romantic interest in them, that you find them physically attractive enough to want to do things with in the bedroom. And so if you're not doing those things by like saying little flirty things here or there, or you know, doing little flirty touches, then that's not going to be something that she feels from you. All she's going to feel is a friendship and you're going to be stuck in friend zone land. So you got to get good on your flirting. Again, join the IDS Membership Academy. We got some great lessons on how to be flirty with women. Uh, the third thing, speaking of being flirty, is say innuendos that indicates you have a sexual attraction to this person, okay? And I, I know some of you are thinking, but saying those kind of remarks, women say they're rude and yada, yada, yada. For one, if she's going on dates with you, she finds you pretty attractive, okay? But also, I'm not saying avalanche the chick with a bevy of sexual innuendos. What I'm saying is, when appropriate, you can give out slight to mild innuendos of things that just let the woman know she's attractive, you know? Even if it's not about sex stuff, but about like, you know, how hot you think she is, or like, you know, she's wearing a, a low cut top, for example, and she mentions that, oh, my cleavage is showing, you could be like, you know, oh yeah, I'm jealous of that shirt. Like stuff like that will let her know, like, oh, he's like looking at me in a, in a way that indicates he wants to do stuff beyond just me talking. And you may think, but don't all women think that guys just want to hook up with them? Surprisingly, the answer is no. Women have had to do this thing over time. And think about this, there are a lot of women that have, that have male friends. And most of these women will not believe that their male friends will actually want to hook up with them. And the reason that is, is because they've had to, over time, convince themselves that not all men want to hook up with them because if they don't have that thought in their head, they would probably talk to no men and have no men as friends and it would drive them crazy. So recognize that when they go out with you, even if you, she says yes to a date, 
Somehow in her head, she might not think that you actually want to hook up with her. She could be thinking that you're you're gay and you're just using her as a beard. She could be thinking that this is just a, a time waste for you. She could be thinking that you have other girls that you're interested in, but maybe you're not getting them yet, so you're using her as a time waster. Like, women have all kinds of weird thoughts and narratives going on in their head about what it is that you actually are thinking about them when you're not trying to be flirty or touch them or get in your windows. So every so often you give one, she'll know, okay, he finds me attractive. And then also, when women really start to like you, they'll start throwing out their own innuendos. And when this happens, don't do what I used to do, which is I would act like the innuendo wasn't said and move on to like another subject that was non-sexual and then I'd wonder later on why she wouldn't want to hook up. So if she's giving you an innuendo, respond with your own or respond with something that indicates that you got what she's putting down and it'll make her feel like, again, that vibe is going, that playful, flirty, sexual vibe that's gonna hopefully lead towards bedroom stuff. Number four, at some point you have to kiss them or you have to at least escalate with them physically as far as they're comfortable with. And this is going back to like the, you know, the, you know this guy, uh, his pastor is trying to teach him how to date. So I don't want to say that you have to go full on hook up in the bedroom in order for them to feel like you want a romantic relationship. But it does mean you need to make, again, flirty touches. You need to eventually at some point within that first, second or third date, go for the kiss. And then from there on, even if you don't go all the way, you can try doing moves that escalate further where it's like, you know, maybe you're touching her over her clothes or you're feeling on her bum or other things that like, again, indicate that you really do want this to be more than just a friendship. And then it just depends on how far she wants to go. Some women, you might need two or three months before they're ready to go all the way to the hookup situation. Other ones might be good after three or four dates. But either way, you can feel it out. And even if they, let's say you're trying to go for like the bedroom move, right? And she's only comfortable with making out on the couch. The fact that you tried will let her know he wants me on that deeper connection level versus just he's just trying to be friendly. If you make no moves at all, women can start to feel like this feels more like a friendship. He's not really trying to kiss me. He's really being slow with moves. And I've been, I've been in so many Reddit com, uh, conversations where women, where women are writing saying, it's been like six dates. He hasn't kissed me yet. I'm wondering what's going on. So again, even women, the ones that you think are saying like, oh, we want to wait, we want, uh, they are also sexual beings and they want it too. And if you're not willing to at least meet them somewhere on one of those sexual planes, then it's going to feel like a friendship and she's not going to be interested anymore. Uh, number five. If at some point she suggests being friends, always reject the suggestion. Now, some women will try to give the let's just be friends thing because they're, they're just honestly not, they're either not feeling it or they're in limbo about their feelings and they're just kind of like, I need to like scale this back. If you're getting that speech, again, you don't have to agree to anything. Like realistically, the thing should be when you guys are dating each other, either you're dating and it's leading towards a relationship or you're dating, it's not, and you're out. You don't have to take the consolation prize of, oh, I'll just be friends with her. Because you know, if, you, if I'll put it this way, if you know that you're gonna be frustrated every time you're around her because you wanna date her, but you're just friends, don't agree to the friendship because you don't owe her that, okay? But also sometimes, and this is just one of those test things, I'm sorry guys, women do tests occasionally. Sometimes if a woman's not sure where your head's actually at, like say you're not being flirty, you haven't kissed her yet, whatever, she might throw out there the friendship thing as a test to see if she can get you to admit where you're actually at in, their, in your interaction with her. So she might say, well, you know, maybe I'm just thinking we should, you know, just be friends because it just feels like there's more of a friendship vibe, yada, yada, yada. At that point, regardless of what, how she says it or why she's bringing it to your attention, your response needs to be the same. Hey, you know what? I think we have a good thing going and, and I'm really interested in actually dating you and getting to see where this goes. So I'm, I want to do that. If you're not cool with that, then I wish you nothing but the best, but I'm trying to gear, I'm trying to see if this leads towards more of a romantic thing than a friendship thing. And sometimes you just saying that will make her realize, oh, okay, he is actually on the relationship path. He's not on just the try to hook up with me path. He's not just on the try to be friends with me path. Okay, cool. So when a woman brings this to your attention, this is why I tell you guys also, it's good to become indifferent to outcomes and to not freak out at everything. Because a woman coming to you saying, let's just be friends, a lot of guys start trying to beg, no, why don't you be, and, and trying to say to her that way that you don't want to be friends, that will make you actually look worse because it still makes you look, makes you look needy and desperate. So don't, don't do it like that, but just, again, simply say, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in trying to see if this goes towards something romantic. And you're not, and when you're doing that, by the way, you're not telling her, and I'm fully in love with you, but you are saying that realistically you're in this with her to hopefully go down that path. And if, if it's her right, if she doesn't want to do that with you, but again, it could be a test. So either way, your reaction should be cool, calm, and just like, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm hoping it gears towards this. If you don't want to be on that pathway, it is what it is, and I wish you nothing but the best, but you deliver it in that way so you don't look needy, you don't look desperate. You give her the impression that you're not bothered, bothered by it, which for the most women will make her feel like it's because you have other options. 
And if a woman feels that from you, sad to say, if a woman feels like you have other options out there, more often than not, she's more apt to stay because women like to compete. It's weird. It is. And then the sixth thing is be respectful in general. Like, you're not trying to be in the friend zone. And I know a lot of guys think in order to avoid that, they got to be an a-hole. They got to be a jerk. They got to speak all rude to her. And it's none of that. You can speak to her in a way that's still uh, respectful, is still friendly, is still fun, is still engaging. This doesn't mean you have to agree with her all the time, but it does mean that you can have respectful conversations and respect the things that she's bringing to the table. And that'll let her know that you actually really think about her as somebody that has their own opinions and is their own person and you like them for that, all right? So that's where she'll start to feel the friendship part because you're, you're seeing her as somebody that could potentially be in your life long term and that you will actually be willing to show respect to, but you still wanna add in the other stuff of being flirtatious because you can be respectful and flirty. You can be respectful and do sexual innuendos. You can be flirty and still wanna kiss her. And you can be friendly and still wanna kiss her. Like, those two things don't have to be different. You can be building a friendship and still doing things that indicate you want rom romance at the same time. And you just be patient in the process of that. And then eventually you'll get what you want. So hopefully, guy, this helps you out. For the rest of you, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Wilmington. Be sure to check out the two-day free trial of the Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Also, I've been getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching uh, consultation requests lately, so I appreciate you guys. If you are going through a situation and you'd like my insights, you can sign up at the website, uh, introvertdatingsuccess.com slash coaching for a coaching session. All right? Thank you guys for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.